Hey guys, sorry for the lack of updates. I have been busy. Um, and for one, you might have noticed that I've painted this, that horrid peach colored cupboard white now. Um, kind of inspired by PewDiePie's <laughs> app where you basically pretend to be um, a YouTuber. You seen this? Yeah. At 38 years old, I, I'm a bit old for this stuff. But anyway. Um, so, um, yeah, i got to get back into making videos for you guys. Please give me comments or suggestions what you'd like to see. I just wanted to share with you something that that knocked me back a bit. Um, like, hopefully you guys too, you have a side project which, are, which you may be hoping to monetize or something like this. And I had that side project and I've made a vi several videos about it called My Responder. Um, doesn't have any stars, doesn't have any love from the internet community, um, which is not a good sign. But I have spent several hours working on this and the, the, the blow that I got was, um, well, we, th there is like a, like a number of people, well, a neighborhood using the software. Uh, is it successful? And that's another question entirely. But the thing that, 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 that knocked me back was that uh, I had a, a guy uh, approach me and show me that his condo has um, a system like the one that I have. And, and I was curious to learn more. And it's basically this thing here. It's called uh, Unbelievably uh, Grab. Um, and it's a Malaysian made application. Uh, it's, a, it's a native app. And it's pretty much like mine in the sense that uh, the main function here is, you know, press for emergency and that gets you in contact with your, with your condos, um, guards and things like that. I can't believe it's called Grab because the other big thing from uh, Malaysia is called my, um, Grab Taxi, but never mind. So th there's a little bit more things you can do with this app uh, over my simple web application. You can register guests. Um, so that they can be let through into the guard house and you know, there's like a the notice board for the, the condo or the residence that you live in. So these are, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking to myself that, that these are quite easy to implement really, just that there's been no demand for it. But the, um, the annoying thing is obviously the marketing here, the look of it is obviously much better than my very simple bare bones web application and the reception for this is a lot better. So the thing that really knocked me back is the security committee have actually been reviewing this without telling me, I guess because they might hurt my feelings or something, and um, and they're considering to, to, to purchase it. So all this time, I've actually been working pro bono for free, and this application has come across, this native application, proprietary system, uh, and they're charging like 600 ringgit um, a month, which, whew, how much is that? It's, sing. it's about 150 US dollars for the whole neighborhood a month. And then there's like maybe a 500 US dollar setup fee. So I don't know what to do now. Cause like, you know, what do you do? Like these people are obviously better funded, people are happy to pay for their product. And I'm like feeling like a complete schmuck for wasting my time on this. But the, I, I, I must say, I do, th I, I also have a, what do you call it? A, a copy of their brochure. The, the, the interesting thing about Grab was, is that it came about because of intercom systems. Intercom systems in condos generally never ever work. Um, so you always end up having to call their mobile, but this is the way that I think they've initially um, got in, got into the condos, is that they you know they point out that the condo the intercom system is not working, and this uh, app gives you the intercom functionality. So there's all this like web app versus native app stuff going through my brain, and I must say there's been a, a lot of problems with getting the re, uh, the residents in my, in my neighborhood to, to add to home screen. It just, it just, the whole add to home screen from a web application on Safari and Android is just an absolute 
user experience expectation nightmare so i i'm just flabbergasted so but th there's that part but there's also the intercom part so i'm guessing i haven't actually used the intercom uh, app but i i guess you could do it in a web app with something like twilio something that like like what uber does to sort of connect the guard with the um with the resident I'm, I'm sure it's kind of possible to to achieve this this emergency button is is, is something that i do already uh, push notification support. Well, hmm. Web app push notifications. Uh, yeah. And visitor register function that could be done as a web app. So, yeah. Um, what do I do now, guys? Give up? I'm actually a little bit... I don't know what to do. I wish open source could maybe save me and some other developers can um, contribute to my GitHub project. But really, I think this paid-for app is attractive to, and it solves the problem. And, and, you know, implementation, web app versus native, and all the rest of it aside, I actually just want to see the security of the neighborhood in Malaysia improve. So if this app does it, uh, and the security committee, committee is happy to pay for it, then fine. I, I'll wash my hands out of it. But... <sighs> But at the same time, you know, um, I honestly think I could do a better job if I had the money and the time. Okay, I leave you with that thought. Thank you for watching. Please give me some feedback and uh, see you guys.